Hey everyone, what is going on? So, uh, quickly before we start the next video, uh, I don't know when the next thumbnails will be on the videos. Um, if you don't know if you're new to my channel, uh, thumbnails don't always come up straight away with the video. It's not only because um, I've only got time to record the video, or I just simply don't have the energy, or uh, my computer isn't working, you know, things like that. So the thumbnails don't take up a priority, but I do like to have them all done eventually. So I don't know when the next ones will be, but yeah, just uh, thought I'd put that out there. And sorry for not past not a few days. I've just not, uh, well, I've uh, had some injections in my school, and I've had um, some gaps put on my teeth from my braces, which are happening in a week's time. So yeah, so again, after those, I'm going to have to speak for the first few days, so again, no, gaps in videos. But anyway, today, as I promised, uh, the next review is on the Sikorax leader figure. So we've come to two accessories, which we'll go through in a moment. But first, we'll have a look at the figure. Now... This is pretty much, um, the basis of it is obviously the normal Sycorax figure, although it's oh, pretty much all of it's been changed. Uh, the cape's almost the same, but a bit different. Uh, this is all a lot different. And the face is the same uh, base sculpt, but the detail and the, and the sculpting is a lot different. Obviously, this is the one which um, has his face out. Uh, so you've got a bit of the human features, you've got the teeth, you've got the eyes. But you've got the, the pink sort of skin around it. And I guess this is more battle armour for the Sycorax. But yeah, but you've got all the lines and the grooves and the uh, different shades of colours there to really give it that sort of look, which it's really nice. It's a really nice representation of it. Uh, the cape, again, that's sort of the same sort of thing. Uh, two pieces together. I've got all the bones in that, like I said. This, one, this one's got a bit more because I guess, you know, he's killed more things. His arms are out as well. Uh, looks a bit like, uh, is it Ganondorf from a... The Legend of Zelda games. I'm not too sure, but yeah, they kind of reminds me of that. So you've got black and red, and then the bony hands. Uh, they, they're all, the hands are probably the weakest thing. They look very cartoony, but still quite nice. Obviously, uh, the, uh, the articulation is the exact same as the other figure. Uh, there's nothing different. Uh, we've got this sort of, I don't know, paddy thing, which is quite weird. Like I said, the uh, paddy bit. Uh, I don't know what you call it, but yeah, that kind of thing. And then we have the, again, more of the lines and that. And the creasing is just really nicely done. It really does give it a, a very realistic vibe. And the legs, the same as the other Sycorax figure, I'm just sculpting on. But it's got that really nice, it hasn't got the uh, different tone colours, which made the other figure probably the better one. And uh, obviously, now this is a figure that they really had to do because he was technically the main villain, I guess. Uh, but if I'm honest, I'm not too bothered if we had or hadn't got it. I mean, it's nice now because the Christmas Invasion actually has quite a few figures from it now. But uh, the Sycorax were a cool villain, but I really didn't like uh, this one. I didn't like the leader. I thought he was a bit weird and a bit, a bit of a crap concept. I preferred the Sycorax as just this clone sort of looking race. Uh, but still, he's quite a nice figure. Now, I've come with two accessories. comes with his staff, which is probably one of the nicest accessories we've ever had, really. If you look at the detail on it and all the different colours... And considering this would have been about 10 quid back in the day, this is quite a lot of stuff. Like bones and that, and we've got all the spikes, like a bit of a sort of tree vibe going on. And yeah, it's really, really nice, a really nice accessory. And um, yeah, it looks more like it should be out of a Lord of the Rings, or what else would be a good example? Uh, maybe like a um, sort of, uh, I guess, it's the third world planet in Star Wars, something like that. Um, like a Rancor Keeper stick. It was, yeah, again, very nice. And then we have this uh, very much based off the sword, um, whip, which is quite nicely done. It's it's in a waved motion, which gives it a really nice look when it's in his hand. Obviously, these were this was his weapon, sort of, and he also had the, the sword. It would have been nice for him to come with the sword, um, because, well, I think the sword was... Because that's kind of what killed him at the end of the day. And it would have been nice to have two swords, um, so you could give David Tennant one, or the... Regenerated Doctor Figure one, so he could uh, battle the uh, this, this guy in the uh, diorama. Uh, the staff is a pain to get back in his hand, which is why we're starting to struggle with it now. There we go. But yeah, that's the uh, Sycorax leader figure with you. Um, bit shorter, but because I've covered quite a lot of stuff before. Uh, but yeah, it, um, so this is a new video and that. And um, I know I, I promised this one. I thought, well, let's get it done. You know. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Sorry again for being a bit short and being a bit loud on videos. Like I said, bear with me. I'm going to get round to getting back to a full uh, video a day schedule, hopefully, at some point. But for now, it's just dwindling uh, down. I'm trying to get at least every other day. Um, was my was my sort of my aim at the moment. Um, so yeah, so maybe try and get one done Saturday or Friday, you know. 
you know, trying to do two videos in a row, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to try and get them out for you guys. Uh, please do say, because you, if you go back to my um, figure collection video, it's not, nothing much has changed other than I think I've got a... Uh, Actually, no, nothing's changed, I don't think, since that. So if you want to see any figures reviewed, do just say and put it up there. Just so me trying to choose. Uh, it'll just make life easier for me. But yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.